Hi guys, today we're going to be multiplying fractions with whole numbers. Here's an example, 2 over 7 times 3. There are four basic steps when we're multiplying fractions with whole numbers. Step 1, make the whole number into a fraction. You say how? Well, all we have to do is just push that whole number up and put a bar in between there and then a 1 underneath. So anytime when you have a whole number, all you have to do is just I pretend like I'm pushing it onto a shelf and then put a one underneath it to support that shelf. Okay, so just put a one underneath it. That's it. Step two, now that you have two fractions, all you have to do is just multiply across. So numerator times numerator or top with top, bottom with bottom, denominator times denominator. Which is the same as 2 times 3 equals 6 and 7 times 1 equals 7. Now, the last step we need to do is to simplify or reduce. So, in order to do that, we can also do two t charts. And we put the two numbers in the fraction in the t charts. Then we're going to see the two different factors that we can multiply by to get to 6. So, I have 1 times 6 is 6. 2 times 3 is 6, and nothing else. Now I move to my 7, so 1 times 7 is 7, and nothing else, there are no other numbers, no other ways. I can multiply two numbers to get to 7. So as you can see here, the only common factors they have is the 1 that tells you that this fraction has already been reduced. So now we're going to extend multiplication of fractions and whole numbers into models. So because I have two sevens times three, I'm gonna start with my fractions, two sevens. Since my denominator is seven, I'm gonna divide this Kit Kat bar into seven pieces. And because the numerator is two, I'm gonna shade in two of the seven pieces. This problem says I have three times two sevens, so I have to repeat the same picture two more times. Now you see that I have two out of seven shaded, and there are three groups of them. Okay, so now what we have to do is, in order to find the answer, we can also manipulate the piece and use and move these two pieces over here. And I'm going to also move these two pieces over here. As you can see, when I multiply them, which means repeated addition, I also get six out of seven pieces that are shaded in. And that's how we can show it in models.